to the next absolutely ridiculous thing that happened, but my God, we should have seen it coming. Antonio Brown, AB, is no longer retired. Um, well, that lasted about six days. Not even that. No. That lasted three days. Two days. Two days. I was about to say, was it two. Monday or Tuesday we talked about this? It was two days. Two days. I think, I think it happened on Monday, and then this whole thing happened yesterday. Uh, this is just, I don't know even this where to begin. This poor bastard. I, I don't. <laughs> uh, I me. told you what I was worried about with him retiring is he is a drama queen. He is an attention whore, and he's not right upstairs in the brain okay something is wrong something is off it could be cte it could just be mental health issues it could be a lot of things but something's he's got a hum and a drum it's not okay all right no i mean you're right you're right and at some point in time if he doesn't have football i worry about this guy's going to end up in a hole well we discussed this before we went live is it more likely that he ends up dead in the in the next five to ten years or that he ends up on an nfl team yeah, I would, I would, I mean, I would probably go with that. Yeah. Uh, he is, that's sad. I don't wish that on him, but no, this dude not. is a, this dude's not, he's a wreck. not okay. He's an absolute he mental needs wreck. help. The problem is, is these guys have too much damn money and they can control whether they're going to get help or not because everyone around them that would force them into help is dependent upon them and their money. Yes. So no one's strong enough to say, you know what? I was broke before I met you. I can go back to being broke, but I love you, and I'm going to do this for the good of you. And if that means you cutting me off, that you cut me off. And nobody's willing to do that because nobody wants to kill the cash cow. No, you're you're dead right. You're you're right on about that. Uh, here is what he said in his Instagram post from 17 hours ago. He said, at NFL, I have complied with each and every ask of your investigations throughout the past 11 months. You have had access to all of my phones. You know what the deal is in each and every situation that the media has distorted. I have been seeing the therapist you asked me to. I have worked on all aspects of my life this past year, and I've become a better man because of it. The fact that you refuse to provide a deadline and the reason for the fact you won't resolve your investigations is completely unacceptable. I demand you provide me clarity on this situation immediately if you really care about my well-being. My legal team continues to ask, and you provide no answers. How is it that the league can just drag its feet on any investigation it chooses on players, and we just have to sit there in limbo? Need an update so I can talk to these teams properly. They're waiting on you at NFL. Let's get this thing moving. We've got history to make. Hashtag Himothy. Now, I don't know what the hashtag Himothy is, but... Whew. Uh, Damien said, uh, I knew this was a McGregor stunt. He said, again, that's one hell of a good Wi-Fi in the asylum. Uh, look, at the, the statement that he put out, not crazy. He doesn't sound like a crazy person in this instance. But you still, you, you've seen all of the other stuff. So the issue is there's a there is a way to handle this. You let your agents and you let your attorneys handle it and you don't like that the NFL's dragging their feet. Oh, tough shit. That is what the NFL PA has done. They gave Roger Goodell and the NFL office all the power in the world to be God. Okay? Yeah. And he is choosing to be God. And you know what they got for it? They got more money and they got less practice time. Congratulations. That's the <laughs> deal you made. You didn't want to go to practice and you wanted a bigger piece of the pie. And the NFL said, we'll give you that. I have the right to be judge, jury, and executioner, and, and there is no timetable. I can put you on the commissioner's exempt list for any reason that I see fit whatsoever, without cause, without blame, without without conviction, without real evidence, just at my whim, I can do this. And there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. And on That's top of that. the deal you and your union made. Well, okay. On, on and you top know what of you got? that. You got more money and you got less practice time. So enjoy those vacation days. Oh, 100%. Because uh, well, here's, what you get. here's the other side of this. If you just keep your nose clean, keep yourself out of trouble, you don't have to well, deal yeah, with this. Well, there's that side of it, but he already he already cocked up. Okay, yeah. he already jacked up, and and so he's trying to get back, and he wants them to stop dragging their feet. Well, 
calling them out publicly is not going to make them drag their feet. They already don't want you in their league. They already find you to be very problematic in their league. Okay. Yeah. So continuing to act out is not going to give them reason for saying, Hmm, I think he's stable enough to let him back in. Yeah. I you agree. want clarity. That's fine. I, I understand and appreciate that you want the clarity and you're probably owed the clarity, but your union gave up the ability to demand clarity in a timely manner that, and I hate it. I, I hated it when they came out on, on Tom Brady. I've hated it when they've come down on other guys, you know, say what you want about the Zeke stuff. We don't really know what happened, the, but, but we don't have to. The jerk, yeah. uh, Roger Goodell gets to do whatever he wants with, with any information he has. It does not matter to him. And y'all gave him that power. Okay. You personally might not have signed off on this, but you should have been screaming to your players rep. I don't want this deal. And if you don't like it, go public with the players rep and call them out and say, fix this deal. But yeah. no, you took the money and you took the time off. Yeah. And that's, I don't that's like on them. the deal. I damn sure don't like the deal as a fan. I don't like the deal. Okay. Cause I don't trust those sons of bitches in New York's office. All right. Yeah. I don't trust them at all. No, absolutely. But I, not. I know better than to give somebody power and take money in return. I, I'll take less money. I've been broke my whole life. I'll take less money and I'm going to keep all the power I can. Oh yeah. I mean, that power is worth its weight in gold. Any, anybody, anybody who would trade power for money is a fool is just a fool. That's just plain and simple. <laughs> Matt said that perfect did, did a lot. And then he said, I'm not sure if Chris has an opinion on this. <laughs> I, I, like, you know, I th at first, I think I'll tell you this. If I was Goodell and I was the league, I don't know that I would let him back in the league. And I would, and I would be very polite in telling him, I think you need to get help. And it ain't just seeing this therapist that we recommend it. I mean, I do no, it's think more this dude that. might need to be committed for a, for a short period of time, and let's let legit doctor, not just the therapist, talk to him. No, no dispersion on therapist, but let's let this guy be seen and 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 looked at by legit doctors in a facility somewhere for a while, so we can know he's not on anything, he's not taking anything, he doesn't have any outside influences for a period of time, and we can really see work on what's going on. Okay. Yeah. That's if I was the league, that would be, I'm not the jury. I'm not the one making that decision. And that would just be a recommendation. Um, so I, I find him to be a liability because I think there's something wrong with him. And I think if you continue to pander to him, yeah, you're, you're, you're just making it worse. Well, we, we have said it on the show multiple times that, you know, if he does have CTE, if that's what's going on at letting him back into the league to get, you know, beaten up yeah. and bruised even more, probably not good. Now, you can't probably prove CTE until uh, somebody has passed on and you can actually... That's, that's you know, the downside of CTE, yeah. is there's no test for it now. Yeah, now you got that right. And we know this. Uh, we have a mental health issue in our country. Everybody understands that. He, he could easily have other issues outside of, I played football and I got hit in the head a lot, you know? And, and, and those things could be flaring up and he's not getting properly medicated and he's not getting proper treatment for those things. And, and that, that could, that could be a part of it as well. And the only way you're going to find out is if you, is if you go get checked out and you really go get things looked at and taken care of. Yeah. I'm just an outsider. I don't know the man, but what he puts out there to the world shows that this, this guy's insane. Oh, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. You are correct on that. Let's uh let's go ahead and change topics. Uh, well, Damian said, "Hey, who knows? Maybe Washington will sign AB. I mean, they're already crazy, so why not add another one?" I, as much yeah. as Washington is the butt of a lot of jokes, I I kind of not kind of I trust Ron Rivera to be a, an adult in that room. Oh I, yes, I trust him to be a. I don't know how good they're going to be, but they won't be a joke no, with you, Ron running things. You've got that right. How how long will Dan allow a strong leader to stay there? I don't know, but. But they won't be a joke. They won't be a laughing stock with Ron there. They won't be a circus. You are correct. Uh, let's move on.